All right, I wasn't gonna video record this stuff. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do it. But um, well, I am gonna do it. I am. I am shocked. You know, uh, Hungary Hitler. It looks like you get no results. Anything about? Um, they just say Hungary in the World War II and it starts with 1945. <laughs> you know, in 1945 it all ended. Uh, German invasion on Hungary. Really? A German invasion of the Hungary? <laughs> um, no. Uh, what about if I tell you that Adolf Hitler was at home in Hungary? What about if I tell you that Hungary was just as complacent in war crimes during the World War II as neo-Nazi Germany. What if I tell you that Hungarian military uniforms were indifferent from the German neo-Nazi uniforms? Did you believe me this? No, these are actually facts. This is basically the way facts just it just happens so to be the case. What about Ukraine and Hitler? Uh, here you get Ukrainian collaboration with the Nazi Germany. It's right at the top. It's a bit different. Did Ukraine collaborate with the Nazi Germany? Um, Ukraine did not even exist. That's the number one thing. Ukraine did not exist anywhere. Ukraine was not a sovereign state. Ukraine was occupied by the Soviet. It was a part of the Soviet Union. It was Joseph Stalin who forced down throat to Ukraine uh, extermination procedure. It was Joseph Stalin, Russia, Soviet Union, that made plan together with the Germans to divide Poland, to cut Poland in half. Were there Ukrainians that collaborated with neo-Nazi Germany? Of course they were. Where were the Europeans that did not collaborate also with the neo-Nazi Germany? I don't know how many million Russians was turned over to the German military, became collaborators of the neo-Nazi Germany. Did you know this? Soviets, in other words. There is no place in Eastern Europe where Soviets executed on a large scale, starved to death, that there would be a single country that would not be uh, at least a fraction of it that would not side with the Hitler because of injustice that went on against them. Um, comparison with, uh, with a Hungary, with the war crimes of Hungary, with the World War II crimes of the Hungary and Ukraine, is bullshit. There is no comparison to it. Plus that Hungary is a small country when compared to Ukraine. So, I mean, when you click the stuff like this, look at this. Look what you see. This is not normal. This looks like as if it was Ukraine that collaborated with the neo-Nazi Germany and not Hungary. And Ukraine did not even exist as a state. As a matter of fact, Adolf Hitler created Hungarian minority in Ukraine. What you're going to learn today is that it was Adolf Hitler who went on to ethnically cleanse, support Hungarian invasion on the Ukraine. Hungarians, as an independent country, have signed the contract with Adolf Hitler about dividing Europe, world. And one of the countries they invaded, next to a little Slovenia, yes, next to Croatia, next to Serbia, next to other countries they invaded, such as Slovakia, one of the countries Hungarians invaded with the neo-Nazi swastika was also Ukraine. And they did so so they could murder as many Ukrainians as possible and populate 
certain portion of Ukraine with Ukrainian people. Or basically, they wanted to grow their Lebanon, the same like Adolf Hitler. How many people did know this? So I find this bizarre because I think the internet is just really heavily uh, manipulated. There was a such a thing. There certainly was a such a thing like Stefan Bandera. Ukraine was not only occupied by the Soviet Union, but it was large pieces of Ukraine were stolen by the Polacks. Because the Polacks exercised over Ukraine for half a millennium apartheid. They turned Ukraine literally into the slavery. It was like a slavery state to Polacks for a very long time. Since Polish, Lithuanian, uh, Commonwealth, uh, Ukrainian serves like a slave to, uh, to Poland. It's got a long history, very much in assistance to Ukraine, and it's why it was so, uh, it played such an important role in modern Hungarian politics, uh, was a Hungarian Jew. Bezos. Uh, actually, sorry, Soros. This man here. Because whatever the Hungarians have done to the Jews in Hungary, where they exterminated them together with the Nazi Germans, uh, he covered up for the Hungary. And he was from Hungary. And so it was just really, really fantastic. Eastern European Jewry was founded on Ukrainian slavery, literally since the beginning of the Ukrainian nation. Jews traded with Ukrainians, sold them like slaves on the markets, from anywhere from Crimea and all the way into Ukraine, all the way to Poland. It was a well, well, well established Gesellschaft. He bailed the uh, Hungarian South, but he didn't bail uh, Ukrainian South because the Hungarian politic was concentrated together with the Russians, Serbs, on on onto uh, Stepan Bandera, the Ukrainian Stepan Bandera who, for the hell of it, to save his country from the claws of the Soviets and from the claws of the Polacks, became a collaborator with the neo-Nazi Germany. That is true. Now, did Ukrainians uh, classified to join the group of Aryan nations during the World War II? Uh, in other words, did Adolf Hitler classify them as the worthy of allegiance with the neo-Nazi Germany? The answer to that question is no, he did not. I already explained the issue behind one. He preferred Hungary. So this is, to me, this is bizarre. I got to say that Ukraine, Hitler, we have seen what that looked like. What I, you know, Ukraine was not in a position such as was, let's say, even um, Finland. And what is interesting is Finland was a sovereign state. Nobody uh, pointed out that stuff like this, that they were collaborators with a Nazi Germany, even that they were collaborators with a Nazi Germany. But still, I don't blame Finland for collaborating with the Nazi Germany because of the invasion of the Soviet Union. Because simply Soviets have stolen them, Russians have stolen them so much land 
that it was just really injustice that went on, that they had no other choice but to to reclaim the land back. They had to go on and collaborate with the Hitler. But this was an independent nation. When it comes to Hungary, this was nothing. This was not even, uh, excuse me, Ukraine, not Hungary. Hungary was an independent nation, just like Finland was. Ukraine, however, did not exist. It did not exist. This is like, this was actually a colony. Russian colony. It was part of the Soviet Union. So, I don't see anything here. I mean, when I, when I, when I do this stuff, I get something ugly. I mean, really ugly picture here. Look at the picture here. I get this kind of picture. <laughs> um, really? Really? Seriously? Are you fucking serious? This here? You know, you got a whole lot on, 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 uh, I tell you that, uh, Soros did a really good job. Uh, Soros is a Hitler, by the way. Very, very, very much Hitler job. You did a very, very good job when it comes to this stuff here. You denigrated Ukraine in a such a way in front of the international community, despite having absolutely nothing to do with this shit here. That is just fucking unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The one who murdered Jews throughout Ukraine, foremost were Nazi Germans, with also Ukrainian collaborators. What about if I type here Ukraine? Uh, actually, excuse me. What about if I type here Hungary? What do I get? Oh, that's too damn bad. Because do you know there were axes of evil that were known as Rim, Berlin, Tokyo during the World War II? Rome, Berlin, Germany, therefore Italy, Germany, and Tokyo, Japan. But did you know that the one who signed the agreement, just as valuable and just as important as Italians did at Rome. Everybody knows for Benito Mussolini or Japan. Do you know that that was a Hungary actually? Did you know this? It was a Hungary, it was Romania, and it was Bulgaria. But of the three countries, the Hungary was probably the worst one. The Hungary was probably just as bad as neo-Nazi Germany. Adolf Hitler in Hungary was at home. This was his home during the World War II. This was just as important to Adolf Hitler, just as Germany. This was part of the Reich, basically. I find this bizarre. I find this shit. Uh, that's all the fuck I get? German invasion on Hungary? Really? In 1944, does it even count? I mean, are you fucking insane? You put this shit actually next to 1945? Are you fucking serious? By the way, this is the same shit like I put here, Italy and Hitler. And I bet I am not going to get German invasion of Italy. Which indeed did took place. Do you know this? The Germans did invade Italy also during the World War II. Because Italians simply capitulated. They no longer wanted to fight with the Hitler. That's the same thing happened in the Hungary. They got bitten up badly. And to keep two positions, they had to come in the country. But that doesn't mean that Mussolini was not a Nazi or fascist. Hungarians have their own Mussolini. They had their own Hitlers. This is one of the worst countries during the World War II, Hungary. One of the worst. That's crazy, actually. I find this bizarre that it's so much about Benito Mussolini here. And it doesn't say anything that uh, Germans invaded uh, Italy. But they, actually, they did.
So it is. When Italians started to lose war, Germans came to rescue. And they came to their rescue by invading. Those who have committed themselves, obviously, to the axis of evil as we know during the World War II. And that doesn't mean that the Italians were not complacent. They did not cooperate with Hitler. And or that Hungarians did not, which is Hungarians were worse than Italians during the World War II. Worse than Italians were Hungarians. I find this bizarre. I find this totally bizarre. This kind of information to, to deal with the information like this. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, Soros did a really good job. I mean, I can tell you that. He did a really, really good job. And it seems like that for everything that went on for the last at least 30 years, for everything, it was from uh, Ukrainians that, that did it. I had no fucking idea that Ukrainians participated so much with the Nazis, which they really did not. Nowhere even near anything. Um, what? Hungary war defeat. When Germany attacked Poland in 1939, Hungary refused to allow German troops to cross Hungarian territory. What? Are you fucking insane? Are you fucking crazy? This is not a fascist. This is not about the fascist Hungary. <laughs> Fuck you. This is about the neo-Nazi Hungary. This is not about the fascism. This is about the Nazism. This is about the ethnically pure Hungarians. Which, by the way, in case of Ukraine, never existed. They always existed, maybe, in tiny numbers. But not on a scale they started to exist after Hitler invaded Ukraine. Actually, after Adolf Hitler supported, helped, armed Hungarian military invasion of Ukraine with a single goal of ethnic cleansing and creation of Hungarian Lebanon, which is kind of bizarre, really. It's kind of bizarre. It's actually really, really bizarre. I am not going to even take time to go with this shit here. I am just going to say fuck off to this stuff. And I will just do like this. And I am going to remind you of the bloody history. Because this is for the children, actually. This is the stuff that is for the babies. And you got to be nuts to settle for some kind of uh, Google indoctrination based on the search results, the way you manipulate Google, you, you, you do your own indoctrination, Mr. Mikhailovich, uh, Sergey Brin. Larry Page, you are related to Soros. You are from the Soros stop. I know this. It doesn't work like this. You can't go and rewrite the history and make the new, you know, if you're going to work like this, then, you know, I was used in MK Ultra so that I could be presented to the world as an ultimate evil, as a Nazi. You can't go on and do this stuff like this anymore. You came to way too far with this stuff, drugging out people and presenting people as, as if I was German or as if I was British or as if I was Italian or as if I was French or as if I was Spaniard. Yes, because you colonized. You did colonize. You did colonize. You, you were colonizers. You colonized big time. That's one thing. You had to destroy the world a lot. You didn't participate 
European. Yes, you did. Actually, French had a pétain, which was which came under the protectorate of uh, neo-Nazi Germany. And I am mistaken here about this. Uh, this was not neutrality. Germans gave Vichy uh, ability to govern France as a neo Nazi Germany. They never gave uh, Ukraine the ability. I mean, if you're going to call Ukraine a Nazi and you want to try to align one with the Nazi, they had less to do with the Nazism than French during the World War II. Did you know this? So then you have to go and you have to rate, you have to label also colonizers, colonial, colonial superpowers such as France as a neo-Nazi collaborator. There is something terribly wrong with this Sergei Mikhailovich Brin Larry Page Soros indoctrination, by the way, which we can clearly see how it goes today over there in Israel, in Gaza. It doesn't work like this. You can't go and, and modify the history the way you want and you count that what people are fucking demented. We don't know where the fuck we are from or who we are. Both sides of my family supported partisan movement and engaged in the partisan movement with one member being even killed on the mother's side as a partisan. And I am from Slovenia. I'm not from Germany. I am not from Britain. Not from Italy. Definitely not a Hungarian. So it's time to set the record straight about this stuff. I'm going to enter here, Hungary. So I entered here in Hungary, and this is the page that is dedicated to the axis of evil during the World War II. I hope you can see it. Um, it's actually aligned to Iraq. It's actually aligned to invasion on Iraq. So we are rewriting here the history with, a with something that had nothing to do with the World War II, right? So now we have Bush who positioned himself in a role of Winston Churchill, and he, posi he positioned himself in a role of um, Eisenhower. I'm going to try again. Other Axis states. Do you see this here? Where it says other Axis states. The countries that are just the major. You see the major? Look at that. Look at this here. Look at this. And there is more lies on this page. There is more and more and more fucking lies here. There's just it's just growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. This is this these are the conspiracies that literally are created by the people that I mentioned. And they do promote neo Nazism, they do promote what we have going on in a greater and greater and a larger and larger scale. The major axis powers, Germany. Italy, 
with Japan. Other Axis states, Croatia did not even exist, and it's mentioned twice. Look at it. Did not even exist. Look at that. Do you see this? Did not even exist at the time. So you're equaling Croatia with a Hungary, and you're equaling Hungary with a Croatia, which is fucking insane, especially when I consider that Croatia was even, once it became independent, and it did become independent, thanks to collaboration with the Nazi Germany. Yeah, that's a big fucking difference. That's a big fucking difference. It goes into the same rank like France. As crazy as it might sound to you, but it goes exactly in the same rank of France. Vichy. Totally identical issue to the France, and it's written twice. Croatian state did not even exist when Hitler invaded Yugoslavia. There was no Croatian state. Once Yugoslavia had fallen apart, now well, then it was what became Slovenia, basically that's where I am from, divided on three pieces. One piece was stolen by the Italians, which invaded Slovenia from the west. Another piece it was given to the Germans, which invaded from the north. Austria did not exist. Yeah. And the third piece belonged to the neo Nazi Hungary, which also invaded with a swastika, literally. From the east. You get it? These are facts. Go fucking see it. And you're going to see who is saying what is saying. The second piece that came to life was a Croatian state. This was a pigeon state that hosted on its land German military and Italian military. And great piece of Croatia was in the hands of Italy, coastline. It was not entirely liberated, and they had to like it or not, enlist themselves into a German military or lose its independence. The same like French. The same like French. Identical. Have they signed the agreement with Nazi Germany? Just as the French did. So you need, you owe me here, you owe me here, France, under what is known as the other axis states, which is a stupid thing to do because there was no Croatia and there was no France, really, that collaborated with the Nazi Germany beyond what I stated. If you wanted to keep France or Croatia, you had to give to Hitler certain number of soldiers, and if you wouldn't do this, it would be gone. They would do the same thing like as they have done to Slovenia and or other countries to whom they have simply absorbed, torn apart. So here, listing the Croatian state is bullshit. It's a Soros. That's what I call Soros. And Germans don't mind this. They don't protest. But that means only one thing. Big Germany, as they call United States of America, doesn't like this type of lies spread all over the Internet, indoctrinating people, the world, on their views, on their vision, delusion, illusion while literally killing normal people all over the place. Hunting me with a psychiatry for 52 years. And then you have here, you have what? You have Bulgaria, yes, yes. 
Slovakia, this is idiotic because Slovakia did not exist. When the fuck did Slovakia exist? You know what? I call Croatian and I called Slovakian state to press criminal charges against. I would go against the Google and absolutely against the Wikipedia founders because this is this goes beyond. This is this is a total lunacy. This is insane. Slovakia state did not exist in the last thousand years. Are you fucking crazy? Slovakian state signed, became the same in the same category as a Hungary or Romania or Bulgaria or Finland or Thailand. It never did. This is a heavy, heavy misinformation that has nothing. I am going to delete this friend here and I am going to suggest you to press criminal charges based on this stuff like this. Do not allow, do not, please, do not allow stuff like this to, to destroy you, literally. Don't do this. This is another category that has nothing to do. I'm surprised you didn't put here also Ukraine. How the fuck, why didn't you put this Ukraine? I mean, you, you put here, you mean... Well, because you didn't even give them any kind of statehood. You didn't give them anything. All through that we can read more about Ukrainians than we can read about anybody committing war crimes. Bizarre. Bizarre. Sick. Insane. And I am challenging you to try to fucking challenge me. I don't care about Hungary not allowing Germans to invade Poland through the Hungary and you didn't have to fucking do that why the fuck would they do this why would they invade one through the Poland for what reason they had Russians on the other side it was Molotov Ribbentrop plan that did it they didn't know fucking Hungary to do this but it sounds nice, right? It sounds like what? You know how it sounds? It sounds to me that Hungary has a full pants of shit. Because Ukraine is an easy prey right now. But the Poland is not. Because the Hungary is trying to play a big boy in a region. And nose that could get nose bleeded by another bigger country that is still not in war. It's too much, man. With your bullshit, with your brainwashing, with the stuff is sick shit. Here we can see quite a lot actually about this stuff here. And I don't know how much they're gonna tell this about about the Hungary, but this was one of the worst. This was just as bad as Italy. Probably was worse than Italy. They were worse than Italians. Were Hungarians. Definitely worse than Romanians, definitely worse than Bulgarians, which did, however, did sign. This country's here, this country's did sign. They did sign. They did sign the contract. This here did not, because they did not exist. They existed once Yugoslavia and the Czechoslovakia both were dissolved. And you see a fucking map, and you're going to see what the fuck I mean. Yes, see the map and you're going to see there was no Slovakia and there was no Croatia. There was no Croatia. It was Yugoslavia. It was a greater Serbian Chetnik state. It was the country where the Serbs were doing the same thing Russians were doing in Ukraine. I am, I am disgusted. I'm repulsed. It's for me hard to believe. It's year 2024, and we have indoctrination that has nothing to do about the World War II, that has nothing to do with reality. And moreover, we have situation in Ukraine, which is not only Ukraine, but also on the Balkans, which Hungarians are using literally to 
to incite in a further war. Hungarians are inciting in war on Balkans. They're trying to create war between the Croats, Serbs, Bosnian and Serbs, and Kosovo and Serbs. And they're doing best to their abilities to damage reputation of Hungarians, which were kind enough to allow Hungarian minority to remain in Ukraine. Usually what the countries would do, they would expel them out. After the World War II, the countries that collaborated with the neo-Nazi Germany would end up losing their minorities. Those minorities would be simply kicked out. Something I'm not a fan of. Something I don't advocate. But when it comes to European Union security, when it comes to NATO security, then you have to ask yourself what purpose the two institutions, what do, what do they serve, to what purpose? Are we going to have politics like this within the European Union and NATO, or is it going to be what is whatever is written uh, in, in its statute to serve the purpose? as a purpose. Bizarre. Simply bizarre stuff. Bizarre stuff. Bizarre. Maybe, maybe you can charge Ukrainians with the ethnic cleansing of Pollocks, which Pollocks were always, for a thousand years, they were present in Ukraine. They were present, even that they exercised crimes against humanity in Ukraine, against the Pollocks. Pollocks did forbid Ukrainians to attend schools in Ukraine. There was no such thing like you allowed to go to university. The high school already was too much. It was like this. However, there was minority anyways. There still was their minority. They, they had the presence and they keep the presence. Hungarians did not do any of that stuff. Hungarians entered Ukraine, what is known as a Carpato Ukraine, a truly with uh, Adolf Hitler support, truly entered one to kill Ukrainian people and populate one with Hungarian people. So I find this not okay, this stuff. For somebody from Hungary now complaining against Ukraine that Ukraine is violating uh, minorities' rights of Hungarians in Ukraine. And moreover, foremost, inciting NATO member states against Ukraine, denying existence of Ukraine in absolutely every level, while at the same time they support a genocide on Balkans, which took place in a Srebrenica, in Bosnia. And they also advocate a genocide which Serbs committed in Kosovo and was still not recognized as a genocide, as a form of genocide. So they, are, they are openly advocating two genocides which did took place, and they campaigned for the war in Bosnia, for the new war with Croatia, and they campaigned for war against Ukraine. So this is a hell neighbor, this kind of neighbor. That's why I stated, I don't think these people got business inside of the European Union or NATO. Because you have to define European Union and NATO. Ask these people about what exactly are they doing inside the European Parliament and inside of the NATO. Because they are, obviously they are doing everything possible not to destabilize, destroy, I should say, NATO and European Union, but they are literally promoting, they are engaging in a war, in a type of warfare against neighboring countries. Croatia is a neighboring country too. It's not only Ukraine. 
and they are causing problems also in Slovakia. Just as in Ukraine, they would also like to go to Slovakia. They basically are doing reviving. Listen, there have been talk about, there's been a talk about borders of Hungary, the old borders of the Hungary. Listen, I am not going to say that there is no Hungarian minority in on other locations throughout the Europe that was left behind borders, uh, but their minority is recognized. They recognize one in, in Romania, they recognize one, I don't know where else. Because of the borders that Hungary managed to set through Germany, historically looking with the assistance of the Germany, because it was an Austro-Hungarian empire, that doesn't mean that Croatian people were not here. Or that Slovenian people were not here, or that Slovakian people were not here. That doesn't mean this, or that Ukrainian people were not here. It's actually quite contrary. They were here. They were here. And they were here before Hungarians. They were very, very much here. The one that was not here were Hungarians. You know what this type of politic... You know, you know, this formation here. Or I should say rather maybe this formation. This is the historic map of the Hungary, if you want to see what that looked like. And I'll gladly demonstrate to you. Based on minorities, based on where minorities were based. And when you're going to see this here, when you're going to see this map, you're going to see, by the way, I'm from Slovenia, you're going to see that Hungary have torn apart, stolen from Slovenia, a considerable a considerable amount of land very very considerable and you cannot even see it on this map anymore here but this is the map of the hungarian ethnicity the real ethnic hungarian map so i don't know about um, you see the galicia here If you want to go so technical about it, there is a whole lot. The biggest tyrant in the in the region, the biggest tyrant in the region, I'll be honest with you, the biggest tyrant in the region was Hungary. This is the biggest, one of the biggest tyrants in the region. This is here is a Slovenia. And not so long ago, this little country, this tiny little country, had a border with Hungarians here, in this place here. It's called Kasteli, Balaton Gyorok, this here, Balaton Lake. You're going to say I am crazy, maybe, whatever. But no, I'm not. This was at least part of it even that it was the whole thing, because Slovenia and Slovakia were one country. Slovenia, this lake here. So you want to go, you want to go and talk about, you know, the thing is that uh, Slovenian minority still existed there since those times. This is the fucking thing about it. As to when it applies to Ukrainian situation, there is no such thing in, Ukra in Ukraine. You have the Hungarian minority, like Slovenian, half minority here, all over this place here. You don't have this in Ukraine. And so, you know, yes, the Hungarian was big with the colonies. 
which Hungary enforced through a German assistance. But other than that, look, there is a fucking map here. This was the Austro-Hungarian Empire, what you see here, this year. Hungary never was as strong as it was in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And you can see in green is marked the Hungarian minority. So don't fucking come to me with the new theories about the Lebanon that you created after the World War II with assistance and at request of other Hitler, even against those whom you claim were involved in Nazism, such as this crazy Ukrainian people. And I say crazy because I don't fucking even get it. How the hell they, they, they support it in absolutely any way. You know, it, it, it was really so bad in, the, in this Soviet Union. It was such a lunacy that they, they just, they made, they made, you know, without even having been given a statehood, a pact with absolute evil. Even for the cost of what they clearly have seen was ethnic cleansing against them, if no one else, Hungarians, enforced. Don't fucking go and teach me about the history, about some fucking new... Soros history, Netanyahu history. Don't fucking go here and teach me about where the fuck I'm coming from if I know. Go fucking see your books a little bit. And as far as Slovakia, as far as Croatia, I do fucking put the lawsuit at ICC, at the United Nations request for this type of stuff. Because, man, how the fuck do you allow, how, how the hell do you allow yourself stuff like this? Nobody's denying anything here. Slovenia lost tremendous territory here to the Italy. Look at this. Lost a lot of land to the Italy, but this is the ethnic map. Given that it's not insulting you. And it's from Austro-Hungarian Empire, indeed. So what, what is this, what the fuck is this, uh, um, what is it with, uh, what exactly, uh, what exactly is this, uh, um, Peter Sciarto is his name, what the fuck is he dreaming about, uh, Hungarians in, in, you know, in Ukraine? What the hell is he dreaming about Hungarians in Ukraine? There was no Hungarians in Ukraine. Nobody did anything to Hungarians. Uh, Hungarians in Ukraine, which me personally, I'm surprised that they're being recognized as a minority because this is not the same situation as it is in Serbia or in Romania. It's surprising to me. It was, it's a minority based on ethnic cleansing of the native Ukrainians. They are recognized, they have the same rights as everybody else does in Ukraine. Rights that pertain to Ukrainian people. Are you going to go and fucking grow some kind of Viktor Orban state, uh, Petr Sciarto state in Ukraine? No, thank you. Nobody wants this shit. Our people being discriminated throughout Hungary today. And we obviously pose a big threat to the Hungary. This small country here that is. Next to it. It's called Ljubljana here. We obviously pose tremendous threat to the Hungary. Obviously that Bosnians, whatever is left of the Bosnian Federation, are posing threat to the Hungary. And so are Croats that were colony from the Hungary for 500 years. Colony, literally a colony colonized totally different people, not language wise, not origins wise related in any way. And you're gonna fucking go and start some kind of, uh, what, what are you talking about? It doesn't work like this. You cannot go and do this stuff like this. You have to you have to hold yourself accountable for this stuff.
Actually, you have to be held accountable for the stuff like this because you're spreading, you're spreading issues, you're spreading problems. Um, Victor Orban claimed to me something about. Uh, let me see here, uh, Uzgorod. Let me see where the Uzgorod is. So we're gonna see the Uzgorod. Ushgorod is here. This is the Ushgorod, it's right here. Oh. Take it easy over there in Ukraine. I mean Hungary. Take it fucking easy. The evil that you Hungarians created in the World War II, uh, it's bloody immense. It's bloody immense. You invaded Ukraine, you murdered Ukrainian people and started to populate Ukraine with your own people. It actually sucks when you brought this subject on a surface through the Soros during the Russian war in Ukraine. You're going to have problems with that. You see this year? This is what took place in 1939. Look at that. See this year? Invading was Hungary, supported by a neo-Nazi Germany. You get it? Hungary was, Hungary is, still, obviously still is a neo-Nazi Germany. They still act like a neo-Nazi Germany. It's a clown in the wrong union and member of something that does not have anything to do with, because NATO was formed to protect the member states from aggression within and from the outside threats. As to when it comes to economic prosperity, I, I don't know what to say about, uh, about uh, Hungary. I, I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, I dedicated today Don't, uh, you know, 230 killed, yes, 230 my ass, they killed, they blamed Pollocks for extermination of the, of the Hungarians, of the Ukrainians, okay? Poland supported, obviously, the Pollocks went on. To support the neo-Nazi Germany, right? You get it? Pollocks were the one that supported neo-Nazi Germany. I would say Poland to to put a, a lawsuit against this stuff because this is this is bullshit. Uh, this type of uh, modification of the history it brings us nothing good in the future, and it's being severely abused and used to uh, accent certain issues. However, that did, did perhaps took place on a micro scale and make the big issues out of them was suppressing big issues into even non-existing issues, or I should say invisible enough to play no, no greater role in it. You yeah, fucking go and say that Poland and Germany together with the Hungary have invaded Ukraine. Come on, man. This is sick shit. It needs to stop this stuff. And this kind of stuff stops when you take them to the court when you sue them, actually, you start to correct the information accordingly to the data, historic data. You see, if you allow this stuff to go on, uh, it's going to be really bad. I mean, it's going to be a bad stuff. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you want to see, this, uh, these are, uh, what is this here? These are, these, are, uh, these are Ukrainians. This is Ukrainian military. This here that you see. Okay? Uh, this is what they defended themselves with the sticks, basically. Just something like almost today when compared to the Russians.
You you see what this is here? This is SS. Miklos Horte. Magyar. Hungary. Hungary. See what this here? SS. See this here? You got it fucking wrong. You got it all wrong. You got it very, very wrong. This man here is a Hungarian. He's sitting right next to Hitler right there. You got a whole lot of stuff wrong. Very, very wrong. This is not about the fascist uniforms. This is about the Nazi uniforms. And today, these Nazi uniforms, although they look different, they still keep coming on the surface. But during the World War II, Hungarian uh, uniforms. But you can see here, right? You can, let's see this here. You, you go and you browse, you're going to see the classic neo-Nazi uniforms, the same as the one that applied to the to the Germans, exactly identical, the same shit, the same thing. This Hungary, Hungary is no Ukraine. Hungary is no fucking Slovakia. Hungary is not even Italy, where Mussolini was. Hungary goes into the same line, into the same thing as a neo-Nazi Germany. And it was bombarded the fuck out of existence by the Allies during the World War II. They bombed one the same way as they bombed German cities because it was... There is nothing that I need to say anymore about this Soros politics, Israel politics we see today in Gaza. Jews and Hungarians, which is truly is a shame. It really, really is a shame because there was a such thing like Holocaust. There was a bad stuff that took place in Hungary. However, they did found the common path and have, through Hungarian Jews, literally assisted issues that pertain to the World War II so that you could, you could even go as far as listing Slovakia and Croatia into the category of Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Finland, it's questionable. Really, Finland Finland was about to be exterminated by the Russians. Russians, Russians assaulted Finland. Finland had nobody. It was enough isolated to sign the contract with the evil. If anybody here in this category, as crazy as it might sound, it really doesn't fit in here, it's Finland. As for Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary, and I don't know about the crazy Thailand, but for the countries above right there, they did sign the pact with the Hitler. They were just as involved, not as involved in it, but the Hungary of all these countries here, Hungary was, just as a neo-Nazi Germany. Hungary, that was no, no, no Finland. And Hungary is no Romania, and Hungary is no Bulgaria, if that's not bad enough. Because Romania, Bulgaria, they collaborated. But when it comes to Hungary, they invaded. They invaded, they, 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 they were enlisted into, with the German troops, marched toward Moscow, marched on other parts of Europe, France, and so on, to do, you know, you can't, you can't do this. That's crazy. Truly crazy. The same way as if you would say here, it would go like this if you were right here in France, which is crazy. France was not a Nazi collaborator. France was just as much collaborator, a Nazi collaborator, just as Croatia was. 
except that France did not have a problem here, which was created during the kingdom, the so-called kingdom of the Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. Afterwards, it was known as a Yugoslavia. Both of these creations were a Serbian, Chetnik, colonialistic countries, where Serbia enforced Serbian Lebanon around Serbian space. They did not have that kind of problem going on, but Croats did. And so they, they did bad stuff. Without any doubt, they did bad stuff during the World War II. But if French had this kind of problem, you would see the same thing in France. Because it was the same, totally identical, the same fucking thing as the Vichy France. That was a Croatia. And Slovakia, the same shit, the same thing, identical. Uh, Hitler had no intention to keep Slovaks around. Not Slovens, not Slovaks. He had in his goal with the Croats and with everybody was to, you know, finalize the war with Russia and afterwards also take care of the rest of it. He had General Ostplan. Eastern plan for all the Slavic people. And I don't understand Hungarian people because Hungarian people, they go into the category of the Mongoloids. According to the Hitler recipe, category, Aryanism, Aryan, Hungarians are of the Asian descent. Uh, Hitler, I don't think he would keep them around for too long. You know, you're just being useful idiots. Uh, so what evil needs to progress? You know, they just lease your brain temporary. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. Now, if you want to enjoy yourself browsing historical facts, but the facts that I told you about, these are these are plain. These are facts. This is the way it is. Uh, I I uh, I got I got totally angry today about issue that that is the most bizarre stuff that I have seen that I have not seen anything like this. Uh, I have really really not seen anything like this. I I can't believe that I'm actually seeing what the fuck I see. And I included some photos here, screenshots. Uh, Basically, that look like this, and supporting a genocide, support for genocide in Srebrenica. Wow, man. I'm going to give you a thumbs up, man. You are incredible, man. You are just, you know, Orban, Sciarto, Peter Sciarto, you know. You are a prime, I mean, you're a prime example for humanity. I mean, seriously. This is disgrace, right there, sitting inside of the European Union and inside of the NATO, giving actually advice on what it should be and what it should not be. I mean, this is like you had a totally demented people in Hungary. It looks like the whole fucking country is fucked up. We have this stuff going on here. This is basically what we have. Searching for new problems in area, actively creating problems, standing on a way into European Union, into the NATO, uh, engaging in war against Ukraine during the war in Ukraine, Russian war in Ukraine. I am, I am simply, I am just truly, truly speechless, and I cannot believe. It's hard to believe that this is directed to you inside of the European Union at Brussels, that you allowed Hungarians to use me for espionage purposes for the divide and conquer game in Romania. You cooked the shit in Romania big time. And also in Ukraine, because after Ukraine and after the countries here, such as Croatia and Slovenia, it will be a turn also for Romania. You have a really systematic plan, and you just want to enforce that uh, truly with 
a full support, obviously. We had delivered display of ignorance from European Union politicians. Unbelievable. Not our war, they say, uh, in Hungary. Cannot win war. Uh, and what I failed, actually, what I, what I totally failed to include in this, that's what's bizarre to me. Is this issue here? Ukraine improved conditions for its Hungarian minority. You know, I think it's time to define Hungarian minority in Ukraine. Who deserves that kind of status? Why do they deserve that kind of status? Uh, why they want to get into it? Should they get this kind of status, for the po especially for the politic they displayed? Not only against Ukrainians, but even against the people with whom Hungarians don't have a border. Hungarians don't have a border with the Albanians. They don't have a border with the Kosovo. They don't have a border with the Bosnian people. And I don't know what is it they want in Croatia. And I don't know what is it they want in Slovenia. And I don't know what is it that uh, Hungarians want in Slovakia. You know, if, if the European Union doesn't want to start solving this issues, then Ukrainians are going to have to start to solve the issues. If you feel Hungarian enough, then I think you should leave to the Hungary. Because Hungary is big enough to accommodate those 150,000, is what they say. Better than to risk the war. Because the more of this, the bigger the problem, the greater the chances with war in region when it comes to Hungarians. We are not willing to solve this peacefully, normally, as civilized. You are privileged to minority status. Yet you go and you worsen the situation, make things even worse, more difficult for everybody. When in fact, many of you should be charged even with the espionage, with a counter-terrorism act. I know because I was used by Peter Sciarto. Peter Sciarto was the one who transported me over and over and over again, especially to Ukraine. And as I said, also to Romania. It's something you cannot fucking do it. You cannot do it. You're not allowed to do this. I am going to definitely cite a torture act when pressing criminal charges against the Hungary. I'm not cool with this. Hijacking, abduction, human trafficking, and torture to get its uh, goals, visions. Seems like what? I'm not a human enough? But you want minority status and special kind of status for your people in other countries? I don't think so.